With the 2024 presidential election heating up, 2020's presidential election still looms in the background as litigation plays out in the courts. On Wednesday, a New York judge gave the voting technology company Smartmatic the green light to proceed with its defamation lawsuit against Fox News' parent company, Fox Corporation. The lawsuit alleges that Fox Corporation purposely and knowingly peddled false information to boost ratings. They say the network aired claims the 2020 election was stolen from former President Donald Trump. New York Supreme Court Judge David Cohen rejected Fox News' parent company's request to throw out Smartmatic's claims. Ruling against Fox Corporation, Judge Cohen says Smartmatic sufficiently alleged that Fox Corporation employees acted with malice, publishing knowingly false stories about plaintiffs in order to benefit Fox Corporation's financial interest. Smartmatic filed its lawsuit in 2021, seeking more than $2 billion in damages. Fox Corporation maintains it has not defamed anyone, adding the lawsuit is an attack on the First Amendment. After the ruling, a Fox spokesperson called the damage claims disconnected from reality, adding that Fox Corporation will not back down. We will be ready to defend this case surrounding extremely newsworthy events when it goes to trial, likely in 2025. This story is considered a media miss for right-leaning media outlets. Using the Straight Arrow News media miss tool, you can see the majority of outlets covering it are left-leaning. Our real-time media miss tool spotlights which stories right-leaning and left-leaning outlets aren't covering, so you get a more complete picture of the news. This is how the news should be, fair, factual, and unbiased. Meanwhile, in a separate ruling on Wednesday, Judge Cohen gave the go-ahead for Fox News to pursue counterclaims accusing Smartmatic of using its $2.7 billion defamation lawsuit against its parent company to impede on the network's First Amendment rights to free speech. Cohen's ruling, reading in part, defendants' argument here is that plaintiffs' alleged damages are so extenuated from their actual lost profits that they were pleaded and or sought in order to chill defendants' free speech rights. Cohen ruled that Fox News' accusations have not yet been adjudicated in court and may proceed, going against Smartmatic's argument that the claims were already shut down in a similar lawsuit with Dominion Voting Systems, a lawsuit that settled for more than $700 million last year.